Hey friends, welcome back. I'm Christine of Side Street Market. It has been a long day at work today and I needed to break out and go do something. So that's it. We're going to Goodwill. Now I don't need a lot of inventory right now. So we're just going to kind of go and see what tickles our fancy and what we can find for eBay, Etsy, Mercari and whatnot. So let's go. All right, guys, do you see that? First off, $49.99. I guess they think it's Murano. This I wasn't sure of. Rachel Ray, or Ray Dunn, excuse me, Rachel Ray, that's the cook. I did end up leaving that. And then I saw this, which reminds me of the Royal Copley Cats, but it's not a Royal Copley. It was $3.99, so I did pay up a little for it, but it was too cute, so I had to grab it. And I totally missed the Garfield ornament. I've bought and sold those before for Christmas time. You can see I'm debating over the cats. And I already found a little... I try to pick up these crates when I can find them to keep in the trunk of my car because my Goodwill does not like to wrap and do all the other stuff. I did find this Golden Girls and this is the mom, Sophia. Um, I believe I did end up putting it back because even though it was $5, I did check it out. It had all its parts, but comps were only $10 to $12 on it, which surprised me. So I did end up, after putting this in my cart, I did end up leaving it. So we didn't even make it to the bags yet. This is the end cap for the knickknacks before you get to all the bags. Cute little teddy bear valentines. That one had damage. Let's see what else we find. I may have, the back section may have been kind of, it looks like someone dumped off a whole bunch of Valentine's Day stuff this day. It was just all over the place. Those, I was wondering if they were the sand art critters, but there was no mark on it. Let's see, just scanning to see what else might be there. <coughs> This was one of those flashed bunnies, and I do have one of those already. Actually, I got from my buddy Michelle Newton's cupboard for my art collection. I like this. I'm always into those home studio pieces, but I've kind of pared down on what I buy because they don't sell quickly for me, and they do take up a lot of space. Here we have someone's collection of something. Are those kitty cats? Maybe some cats and little trinket dishes, and there's like the lid to a rabbit thing. Some birds. What else we got? Lots of little snow globes. I totally missed that little pedestal dish. Trying to go back the other way to like see things from a different perspective, see if I missed anything. That was kind of neat. Like that was a studio piece, a hen on a nest. It was all ceramic. It did have some chip damage and it was $7. And it was chipped up on the bottom too. And now we're back in the bag section. There we go, now you guys can get the full view, full effect. This, I'm kind of kicking myself, I didn't grab. It was a bag of Christmas cards. Now I don't know if they all had envelopes. I think it was only $4. You're gonna see I debate on that and go back and forth. I ended up not grabbing it and I should've. Because the holiday's gonna be here before we know it guys. I think I wanted to see what that puzzle was in the back. And it looks like it's a camel. It's a camel puzzle. 
I think they wanted like $8.99 on it. Here we go with fun. Here we go with the napkin rings, guys. I didn't end up with two of these, some pumpkins. Oh, uh. Here is a bag of brass, guys. You know I love brass, so I did end up grabbing these. And I did not get those um, other napkin rings because they were odd numbers. They were twos and threes and not really any sets of four, and some of them are broken. I don't remember what the color of the week was this week. What am I doing? Oh. <laughs> I just trying to figure out what that was. They want $30 on that piece of wall art. So now I'm debating over the brass. <laughs> I do that. If I want it, I put it in the cart, and then I see the jewelry box, and that's what sells it for me, because those always do well for me. Let's see. What else we got in the bag section? Always looking for vintage hardware. whole bunch of puzzles, but you never know if all the pieces are there if they're open is the problem. Oh, I think that one had some patches in it, and that's why I was checking out to see what the patches were. bunch of those rubber bands for making those rubber band bracelets when those were popular. Some Tupperware. Someone yeah, trying to get sure. by me. <laughs> it was pretty busy. I think I'm singing. This was neat. It was like Foam anatomy cards for the different, kind of thing. I don't know, I, it was probably some sort of learning tool. And I know I've seen these before, like on other reseller channels, and I've heard it's hit or miss how much they sell for. So I think I left those. So I wasn't sure about them. Alright, so now I'm still digging, and what were those? Critters? Those were some wood animals, but I believe the antelope had damage to its ear, so I had to put those back. As you can see, I'm trying to hug the wall because people were trying to get by me, and... So you can get a lot of close-ups. <laughs> There's some cookie cutters, some Mardi Gras beads, some Americana. Those were plastic. I don't know what those were. Some Sudoku puzzles, crossword puzzles. That's one of those, the wood pieces that opens up and it's like a basket, I think. I see a lot of those at the Goodwill. And that's one of those back massager things. I was trying to figure out what else was in there. There were two, there were some carved wood animals in there. And I was trying to see, but they did have all their um, antlers were broken off. That's why I keep flipping it around, debating on it. Then there were some like little garden gnomes and stuff for like a fairy garden. And I wasn't sure about those. Some faux succulents. Coffee making kit. More Christmas cards. Squirrel. <laughs> but I think they were like $5 for the pair or something like that. And this was another little brass set, and I liked this because of the easel in it. 
I thought that was nice. And the trivet, which was a Japan piece. So we did get a few good things out of the bag section so far today. Of course, it's all brass, but you know, that's me, <laughs> my style. Let's see. I liked that kind of bamboo, $30. If I still had a booth, that would have been a great piece for a booth. I'm kind of steering away from the really heavy candlesticks lately. I couldn't tell if these were old Lincoln Logs or more contemporary. The person was moving my car out of the way. And I guess those are cookie cutters with like a rubber top. I guess that protects your hands a little more than the sharp ones we had when I was growing up. Flip flops, loofahs, kids toys. Foam, craft projects. <laughs> now there's something I missed in the corner. I don't know if I'm going to grab it here, but you guys end up seeing it in the haul video. I don't know if I grab it. Because I, I did a second round off camera and then I found something in the bag section. So if, if I pan down, there was a set of Leonard silver plate coasters. See that right there in the corner left there? I don't know if I caught them here or at the end, but I did end up picking those up because they were new in box, the Italian Leonard silver plate um, coasters with the starburst on them. So I totally missed them the first time and I got them the second time around. I always check the candle bags because I've found loose eye candles before. It was once, but you know, you never know what could happen again. Lots of bath soaps. I think someone's trying to get by me. Sorry for the close up, guys. I kept getting squished by people and I was trying to social distance and be respectful. More candlesticks, corn on the cob pieces, trying to stab you. The usual. More cards. Totally missed that. A little bit of cross stitch, but it wasn't really anything super special. So let's see, we, I believe I will see you next in the art section. And here we go guys, back in the art. And this is an original, this is oil on canvas. Very nicely done, signed. And I liked the way it was framed because I could take it out of the bigger frame to make it easier for shipping if I needed to. How much was that one? It was only $4.99. See, I'm checking if I can easily get it out and I can, so. Yeah. We got some art. I love when I can pick up small pieces of art. I'm singing to the music now. <laughs> That's cute toilet art. Now I debated on getting that guys because I thought that was just really funny. Oh, it's a card. Someone had framed a card. I didn't realize that. I thought it was like 80s print. <laughs> but that's funny for like bathroom art. The music is always blasting in my goodwill. <laughs> This was cute. This was like a 80s dentist art, like cartoon stuff. It's kind of neat. But it's a little bit heavy, so I try to watch the weight of the art. That was cute, someone's project. That's something I would have painted up back in the day. There I am, hello. <laughs> Again, cute, but nothing like over the top. That was someone's little personal art piece. A little prayer. It was kind of pretty in the coloring. I wanted to check out the frames behind that to see if anything was vintage. Let's 
I don't think so. I think they were pretty, <clears throat> they were pretty contemporary. Kitty cats. Gotta always show the kitty cat art. Now we're checking out the end caps again. They are restocking, which is nice. This was someone's studio piece. It looked very realistic. It was $8 though, and I'm not quite ready for the holidays yet. <laughs> and that's pretty big to um, store that. I had a nice polished bottom, but it was $13. This one is really cool. Now this is kind of like 3D puff art, and it was signed by an artist. So even though it was a little heavy, that was pretty with the flowers on it for five dollars. But I think it was Telefloor or something like that. So nice. He was, that one was only six. I like that one better. Really nice. With no damage. If it was closer to Thanksgiving, I might have picked up those planters or centerpieces, but not right now. Look at that lamp. That's one of those touch lamps. Don't know if I caught the price. I think it was $29. And now we're looking through all the clocks. So we've turned the corner and we're in the wood and metal section, which I like. This was a nice lacquer box, but it had some damage to it. Ooh. And it actually was a jewel. It was like a music box, but it, it was broken, mm. which was a shame. I'm sorry, I'm so wobbly tonight, guys. That's cool. It's a music box. Trying to see if it played. It didn't play. That's really cool. I think that was twenty dollars, maybe. There's some neat lacquer, um, like Asian wood horse art. Something different. Letting folks go by while we hunt for brass. I'm always nervous with those floral pieces to try to ship those. That's one of those old school courting clocks. It's the boy and girl courting scene. Then we found this, which is one of the, um, this might be Sexton or Homeco. It's the metal wall art, cast metal wall art. Now the reason I grabbed this one, and I'll tell you more about in my haul video, is that I do have several of those already. Oh, that was cute. $5 had some damage on the back. I did pick up a set of those airplanes at the flea market. So I thought I could list them with the others. $13 for that. And it's some sort of a clock in a box. So I wasn't quite sure about that. You never know what you're going to find. That was full of chickens. Let's see what else they had. Random photo album in the wrong section. Scrapbook paper. <laughs> that was kind of a neat kind of paper box with the roses. It was $5. And just kind of like a cardboard floral box. If it had been $2.99, I would have grabbed that because I love the coloring on it, but for $5, then we have some, these were chess pieces, so maybe a little mid-century in style, but I wasn't sure what they were. Then there was some pretty pebble art, but it was damaged, like it was already falling off, and it was more like rock art. You'll see. These were cool, and I contemplated them, but they were falling apart already, like all the seeds, the beads were coming off. So here, we're going to take it over 
so you can get the full. So it was all little stone and they wanted $13 a piece. So that's probably the other reason I left them, even though they were really cool. Checking on the baskets. That was cute. It's like one of those, it's like a fake log planter. So if you have kind of a cabin feel. And then someone was pushing me down the aisle a little bit. So I was trying to move along. I like those big pink flowers. Just no use for them. I did spot a recipe box, but I think this one, it might have been, yeah, it was pretty beat up and they wanted $5 and it was pretty, pretty rusted, which was a shame because it was a pretty color one. It was just, if it had been 50% off day for yellow, I might have got, got it for $2.50, but no. And then this one was $4. We left that behind. That's another one of those on the Sexton Home Co. cast metal wall art pieces. All right, we're checking out another end cap. Now this, I kicked myself. I was like, oh, it's a nice piece of marble, you know, and I left it. I totally could have used that for like photographing jewelry and stuff for my Etsy. It's just sometimes you get so caught up and you don't think. I totally should have picked that up. I'm still kicking myself about that one. So I'll have to keep an eye for another one now. And then this is the craft dial, like home office supplies. Oh. Things are just jumping off the shelves at you. Sorry, I know I'm making you all nauseous. Christmas. More Christmas cards. I don't know what, oh, those were flowers. It's like, what is that green puffy thing? A mini nativity set. This one I don't think. It was $3. It was just kind of plain. I like the color and look at this one. Me with the strawberries on it. I've not seen that before. I like the colors on that, kind of very calm. This is cute. Oops, sorry. Those were cool. They're cheetahs. They were $60 for the pair of the cheetah candle holders. They must have been something fancy. These were neat fish shakers. Kind of artistic. Or maybe not shakers. I thought they were shakers. Little bee set. That was cute. to dig in these aisles with everything in bags. I'm always afraid something's going to fall out on me. That was kind of neat with the relief on the front like a ginger jar. We're kind of in a holding pattern. <laughs> slowly creeping by. Slowly creeping by. More hand painted pieces. Cute little play dish. Don't forget to look down. That's really cute. Yeah. Not really what I'm looking for. Bye, 
dollars. I don't know why I didn't get those. <laughs> Usually that's, I think because there was three and it wasn't two or four. That's probably why I didn't grab those. The Desert Rose for twenty dollars. I don't know if that's the right road word for it. I don't know if that's Desert Rose, Franciscan Rose, Francescan Rose, something like that. And I almost don't buy single mugs from my Goodwill anymore because they used to be ninety nine cents, and now they're anywhere from two to eight dollars for a single mug. So, like that one's cute, that one's vintage, but it was three dollars and. They only go for about 10 to 12, so I still look in case there's like a really rare Starbucks or something like that. Oh, there I go. Oh, there's Pyrex. Do I see it? I don't remember. I do. And that is $20. I think that's the one my mom has. Mom, I know you'll be watching this, so if that's the one you have, just comment yes. was cute but there was a giant crack down the back. It was a really pretty half picture wall pocket. That blue punch bowl was pretty too. It's pretty. That one was $15. Oh, this is pretty. Nice piece of encased glass. That's fun. That was kind of a neat, had a neat look to it too. I like the lines of it. I usually have to tippy toe to see the top shelves. I don't want to talk to you. Why do you call me back? Ooh. Drama in the Goodwill. <laughs> now these probably would have had, those would have had like a little um, teacup to go with them. They were like a little snack dish. I think the fish were cute. There's more of that Franciscan rose, I think it's called, or similar to that pattern. Let's see. The blue is always jumping out to me. I'm seeing a lot of blue on the shelf. And I totally missed the Franciscan Rose teapot thing on the end. Totally missed that. Oh well. And guys, I think we're almost wrapping this one up. We have a couple minutes left and then I'm going to meet you back in the car. I think I have one of these. They wanted $13 for the clear, the clear turkey though. So I wasn't gonna pick it up. I was trying to get to the decanter, I think. Yes, there we go. And that was $4. It's kind of a cute look. Digging and digging, trying to see what got pushed behind. And I do currently have one of these with a cherry on top, so that's why I didn't grab that. Thank you for shopping with us today. Bigger items like that, I usually wait till one sells, and then I'll grab another one if I see it. That was pretty. It looked kind of like whole pottery or something to me. There's no marking on the bottom. <coughs> the mask is starting to bother me. That's why I'm coughing. <laughs> with my allergies. Oh, I must have, I must have, did you see that guys? I spotted something, I beeline for it. It's a giant, I wonder if the W was for Westmoreland. What else did I spot here? Nice little wood bowl set. I've bought, I've uh, shipped one of those before in my life and so I will not be buying anymore. It did make it in one piece, but I have so and much I do have a video right out now. there somewhere on it. 
I also am full up on sugar fruit, so none of those for me right now. Like I said, I'm being a little bit picky. I really like that set. $10. Look at all the stickers on the bottom. That was a cute set. Whew. It is Florida. I'm telling you, it's like 90 degrees. Whew. Okay, so we did pretty good. Um, you could probably tell I was being a little choosy on what I was picking up. There were some things I picked up I would have liked, but the prices were a little cray cray until they do the 50% off. We did. I did end up spending about $55, and there was a few items I picked up after the camera was off because I kind of do another loop through to see if there's stuff I missed. So there will be a haul video. Not right after this, but the next day. So stay tuned, guys, and I'll be back with you soon.